Hello, fellow rebel capitalists. I hope you're well. If you guys are following me on Twitter, you know that one of the themes that I've been pushing the last few months is that all of these mandates and what we're seeing from the global elite, the central planners, and the institutions that we are supposed to trust here in the United States is that what they're doing has absolutely nothing to do with health whatsoever. If you just look beneath the hood for a couple seconds, if you just pe peel back a couple layers of the onion, this becomes blatantly obvious to anyone who's paying attention. Uh, the only way this could not be obvious is if you just were completely delegating your critical thinking to the mainstream media and those individuals in the government and in these institutions that uh, are supposed to have your best interest as their number one priority. But what we've seen for the last year and a half now is that constantly they just lie over and over and over again. They're constantly contradicting themselves and you at every turn are left scratching your head saying wait a minute here this just doesn't make any sense and the conclusion that at least i come to is that it's not about safety it's definitely not about science but what it is about is gaining more power and more control you never let a good crisis go to waste Check out the, the recent news from the CDC. I'm going to have to be careful with this one for uh, obvious reasons with the YouTube overlords. <laughs> so the CDC director defends unusual decision on Pfizer boosters. She says this was a scientific close call. Okay, um, if it's a scientific close call, then shouldn't we hold off on any decision-making process when we're dealing with people's health? Um, I'd like to have a little more definitive conclusion than that, but let's read the bullet points. The director, Rochelle Walensky, broke from the agency's advisory panel and authorized medicines for those in high-risk transmission environments. Walensky adopted other recommendations by the panel, and then Biden comes out and, of course, claims that this is a huge victory because it expands the boosters to over 60 million Americans, including educators, high, or excuse me, healthcare personnel, and supermarket employees. Okay, so the first thing that comes to my mind here is if the medicine is so incredible, why on earth are, are we having to do all of these uh, boosters? And if we have to do these boosters, then why on earth does that not apply to the medicine mandates and the health passports? If it is, quote unquote, the science, that you have to get a booster, then shouldn't that booster be required for you to actually have the health passport? Shouldn't that booster be required by your employer? And I'm saying that from the standpoint of if you're assuming this is actually about health. Obviously, I'm against mandates, especially government issued mandates of any kind. But just if we're going to maintain that intellectual consistency, you would think this would be their position, but no mention of it whatsoever. That's the first thing that should get you scratching your head. That's the first thing that should not pass the smell test. But it gets, it gets better. <laughs> oh, but wait, there is more. In an unusual move, Walensky broke from the CDC's advisory committee on 
immun immun immunization practices, which voted nine to six on Thursday against authorizing medicines for those in high risk transmission environments. So if you didn't follow that, basically the advisory committee of all these scientists from the CDC said that, you know what, we should hold off on the booster medicines. And even with that said, Walensky came to the conclusion that, you know what, I'm just going to ignore the scientists. Okay, well, if this is all about health, shouldn't we be listening to the scientists at the CDC? I mean, it's not like you're listening to some people on YouTube or uh, other places on social media. No, you're listening to your own scientists. So it's going to be interesting, I think, to see how CNN and the mainstream media really spins this. Because again, if this is about health, if this is about science, then she should be listening to the scientists that work for her. But instead, she's doing the opposite of that. I listened to all of the proceedings of the FDA Advisory Committee and intently listened to this exceptional group of scientists that publicly and very transparently deliberated for hours over some of these difficult questions and where the quote unquote science was. So then it says, Walensky's directive aligns closely with the FDA, uh, these rulings they came to on Wednesday, that the, uh, the agency similarly bucked advice from its panel of scientific advisors by authorizing more of the medicine for the broader audience, then endorsed by its committee, and this is the Committee on Medicines and Related Biological Products. So what we see here is Walensky ignoring the science that the scientists that work at the CDC are saying, or, or the, the, the scientific conclusion that they're coming to. And then we see the FDA doing the exact same thing. So again, for any of you out there that think the government or these institutions have your best interest as their number one priority, how do you explain this? How do you explain them doing the opposite of what the, the science is. How do you square that circle in your mind? How do you rationalize this to continue thinking, or I should say not thinking at all, and completely abandoning critical thinking, and come to your conclusion that, oh, I'm just going to continue to, to delegate uh, my thinking to the, or I'm going to continue to delegate, I should say, my feeling to the central planners because they know what they're talking about and they are quote unquote following the science. Well, they're obviously not. And that's really the point of this entire article. But let's move on here. There's more. Dr. Paul Offit, an infectious disease physician at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia and a voting member of the FDA's advisory committee, opposed the additional medicine for young people out of fear they could that it could cause myocarditis. Offit called Walensky's expansion of ACIP's recommendation at first, adding that he thought the Pfizer should have run more extensive trials before submitting findings to the FDA and the CDC. A healthy person less than 30, basically he's saying, if I was a healthy person less than 30, I would wait to see how this rolls out, is what Offit told CNBC. Wait for a few million doses to get out there. So this is straight from the scientists themselves. So that's the main point of this article. Uh, from the standpoint of the institutions that your friend and family member Fred 
should tell you that you should have 100% of your faith in. And if you don't, you're just a tinfoil hatter and you're just a conspiracy theorist and you're part of the problem. They're using that binary conclusion that either you put your whole uh, faith into these institutions that are constantly lying to you and constantly contradicting themselves and now obviously aren't following the science. If you're not putting your 100% of your faith into these institutions, then you are the sole root of evil in the United States and you should be condemned. It's that, it's that binary uh, framework for looking at society that is so dangerous if you haven't been watching my, the last few videos because that takes us right back to Stalinist Russia. That's the bottom line. But then, of course, Biden comes out and says at a br uh, briefing Friday, that he thinks the CDC's recommendations, more specifically Walensky's, because this is not the CDC, you know, the scientists are saying, no, don't do this. It's So it's more just one uh, person with dictatorial power over the media and the uh, politicians. And again, so you know that the administration wants these um, boosters. I mean, the, the thing that you keep coming back to here in the United States because their approach has been so um, so much different than a lot of the Western countries in Europe, as an example, where the, at least they're acknowledging natural immunity, is it, you've got to think to yourself that the big pharma groups are really playing a role in what we're seeing, at least here in the United States. And you've got to assume that uh, Biden is just a puppet for not only the World Economic Forum, but maybe these big pharma companies as well. What else would explain what we're seeing? So the Biden administration is pushing for more and more medicine. As much medicine, the or the more medicine, the better. That's what we're seeing from the administration. So it seems like uh, Walensky is just is not following the science. Uh, she's not following facts, but she's just following politics at the end of the day.